All right, let's talk about the remove auto modes parentheses. So you're given a valid parentheses screen. So it's either empty or you have the something inside the parentheses. So this is the example. Um, so here we go. So uh, you are going to remove the auto modes parentheses. So you basically return this, right? So uh, for this example, it's super simple. You are return this and this entire string is going to be equal to this one. But how do you how do you actually uh, do it? Uh, you can actually uh, keep count of the uh, opening parentheses and closing parentheses. So I have a counter starting from zero. So if I see the opening, I'm going to increment, right? So let me create a variable just call uh, just call v val, all right? And then I'll just keep adding. So this is be so starting from zero. So if I see opening, it's going to be one. And then if I see opening again two and then if i see closing uh minus one so it's one and then this is opening two this is closing one and this is closing zero and then uh this is opening again so it's going to be one two one zero so if you see a pattern so let me draw uh let me draw an another line so if you see a pattern uh, the substring for the valid parentheses is going to be starting from two and with and with zero right starting from two and then end with zero and then you don't want to include the zero one so this is the example one but if you don't believe let me just do it again but it, but in this time I'm going to just quickly uh, dive into the question so one two one two one zero one two one zero one two one and then two and then three and then two one zero right and then this is a uh, this is a pattern so i need this string right so this string will become this one and then this one and then this one right so it's going to be um opening closing opening opening closing closing right so if you see a pattern it's super simple like if the if the count is actually equal to two you just keep adding and if the count is actually equal to zero you don't want to add not that but if the count is equal to two you also have to check the character is opening and then not equal to zero, you have to see it's closing. So this is supposed to be a, uh, the, the math behind, right? So I'm going to say uh, count equal to zero. And I need to create a string builder. New string builder. And I also need a boolean. I will tell you why. So I say equal to false right away. And this is it. So I have a entire character string, I mean character, it's not too far, right? Alright, so I would say if C equal to the opening, and then count plus plus, I would say C equal to closing, count minus minus. So I would say if C is equal to opening, and count is equal to 2, right? I just said it, and I equal to I equal to true, right? I'll see. C equal to closing and count is equal to zero. R equal to false. And then if R is e if R is true, right? I can actually do like this. Then I will just say string builder. Come on sp dot of n here to see right there must be something about my people so let's speed up to string at the end so if you don't know the uh don't know what i did you have to go back to the beginning of the video then you can know what i meant for this entire stuff and let me run it hopefully i don't mean typo all right here we go and this is a solution so let's talk about time time is going to be all of n space is going to be all of n 
you can append every single character in the, into a string. So this is not optimal solution. So you don't need a boolean array. You can just use in a counter. But in somehow like you just have to follow along with the counter and if a counter is valid, then you just append to the string builder. So here's the optimal solution. I'm going to just copy and paste. So I have a string builder and I have a counter. Counter, so it's going to be open. All right. So if opening uh, is greater than zero, and you append. So this is increment is after this line, right? The plus plus is actually uh, after this line. So which means opening will be uh, increment after this line and then this one is opening will decrement after this line if the decrement is actually before the opening right if the if opening is like this then you will decrement first but in this case you will decrement after and this is still uh, doable so let me submit and this time and space is going to be the same all of them for the time all of them for the space and this is a solution. So if you don't know this idea, you can go back to the beginning of, I mean, the first version I, uh, the first version I wrote. So this is supposed to be the newbie code, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it's still, uh, it's still doable. And I will see you next time. Bye.